നമസ്കാരം ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ പ്രോഗ്രാം നമ്പർ സിക്സ് ടു ടെൻ ഫ്രം അവർ പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ ഫയൽ പ്രോഗ്രാം നമ്പർ സിക്സ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ടു റീഡ് എ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഫയൽ ഇന്ത്യ ഡോട്ട് ടി എക്സ് ടി ആൻഡ് ഡിസ്പ്ലേ ദോസ് വേർഡ്സ് വിച്ച് ആർ ഹാവിംഗ് എക്സാക്ട്ലി ഫോർ ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് ബിഫോർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ദ പ്രോഗ്രാം ഫസ്റ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് ദ ഫയൽ ഇന്ത്യ ഡോട്ട് ടി എക്സ് ടി ഹൗ ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് എ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഫയൽ ഓപ്പൺ ദ നോട്ട് പാഡ് ദൻ ടൈപ്പ് ദ കണ്ടന്റ് ഓഫ് യുവർ ഫയൽ ദെൻ സേവ് ഇൻ യുവർ ഫോൾഡർ സി I am going to save my file in the folder demo. Name of the file is India. Then save as type text document. So our program is to read a text file. Before reading a file, we need to open that file. So the first step is open the file india.txt. The function to open a file is open. And the arguments, first argument is name of the file that you have to give in quotes. And the second argument is file mode. Here the file mode is R because we are going to read the file. By default the file mode is R. That is if you are not specifying any file mode it will open the file in read mode. Okay. Now this open function will open the file india.txt in read mode. Then it returns a file handle or a file object that is stored in variable f. f is just a variable name. Then now using this f that is using this file handle you can access the file. Then after opening we have to read the content of the file. There are different ways to read a file. Here I have used the function read. the function read will read the entire data from the file that is it will read the entire content of the file and the content read by this read function is in the form of a string that is the return value of this read function is a string and that string is stored in a variable here i have given the variable name data so the content of the file is stored in the variable data in the form of a string clear then i can use the variable data just like any other string so in the next step what i have done is i have used the split function to split the data into words data is a string then that string dot function split what is the use of split function it breaks up a string at a specified separator and returns a list of substrings see here no separator is specified so the split function will use white space as a separator white space means it can be a space new line etc so this split function will return a list of words and that list is stored in variable words so this variable words is a list of words that is my file india.txt content of my file india.txt is read by the function read and this whole content is returned in the form of a string and is stored in data then the split function splits each and every word of this file content that is the string and returns in the form of a list so the variable words contains a list of all these words okay next step is traverse through the list then find the words which are having exactly four characters for traversing through a list we can use the for loop for word in words words is our list and word is a loop variable so in first iteration the variable word contains the first element of the list words and the word is in the form of a string so you can find the length of the string using len function if len of word that is length of the word equal to 4 you have to give double equal to here comparison operator so if the word is having exactly four characters this statement will return true then it will execute the print statement print word end equal to space then go for the next iteration next element that is next word check whether the length is equal to 4 if it is equal to 4 display it otherwise go for the next word and so on. so this print statement will print 
the words which are having exactly four characters. Then at last close the file. Okay. Then after completing this program, you have to save this program in the same folder where your text file is stored. Demo. I have to store my program in folder demo itself. File type python file. Save. See, now my text file India and also my program CAV4. Both are in the same folder. Then if you are storing your text file elsewhere, you have to specify the file path in your program. That is absolute path you have to specify. Here you have to give the absolute path. That is the full path like C colon slash etc. Then after saving, execute the program. More, most, that. See my text file. Words having exactly four characters. More, then most and that. Okay. I think it is clear to you. We will move to the next program. Next program. Program to count the number of uppercase letters, lowercase letters and digits in a text file notes.txt. I have created a text file notes.txt house number kra302. Then program. First I have to open the file in read mode f equal to open notes.txt default file mode is r then f string equal to f dot read i have used this read function to read the entire content of the file and the content is returned in the form of a string that string is stored in f string then we have to count the number of uppercase lowercase and digits for that i have used three variables u count, l count and d count initialized to 0. Then traverse through that string character by character. The first iteration, first character is stored in ch. If ch is upper, it will check whether the character is uppercase or not. If it returns true, that is if it is uppercase, increment the uppercase count. u count equal to u count plus 1. Otherwise, l if ch dot is lower. Checking whether the character is lowercase or not. If it is lowercase or if it return true, increment the L count. Otherwise, that is if it is not uppercase and lowercase, come to this elif part. Elif ch dot is digit. Check whether it is a digit. If it is a digit, this will return true and come to this increment. D count equal to D count plus 1. Increment the digit count. Then go for the next iteration, second character, follow the same procedure, third character, so on till it reaches the last character. Then the program control come out of the for loop. Here we have print statements to print the number of uppercase letters u count, then lowercase letters l count and number of digits t count. Clear? Then save this program in the same folder where notes.txt is stored. Execute the program. Number of uppercase 4, number of lowercase 10, number of digits 3. See the content of notes.txt. Uppercase letters 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of lowercase letters this much 10 characters. Number of digits 3. Next program. Program to read a text file line by line and display each word separated by a hash. I have used the file india.txt. So first open the file in read mode. F is the file handle or file object. Then a for loop which is used to traverse through the file using file handle. This will select a single line from the file in one iteration and will store in the loop variable line. And the data type of line will be a string. And that line which is in the form of a string splits into words. 
using split function and the words are stored in the form of a list. So this variable words is a list which contains all the words in a line. Then again a loop for w in words. This will select a single word from that list and stored in the variable w. Then print that word then specify end as hash. That is at the end of each word it will display hash. So when this inner loop completes it will display all the words in that line. Then go for the next line in that file. Split into words. Then display each word separated by hash. This will continue till the end of the file. We have done this program like this. Because we have to read the file line by line. Otherwise we can do this program just like what we have done in count the words. For this program also we have different ways. You can use read lines to read a line. Then do the same process. That also okay. Here I just use the file handle to traverse to the file. This also will read the file line by line. Okay. Save this program. In demo. Execute the program. Here is the output. Each word is separated by hash. Next program. Program to count the words this and that present in a text file india.txt. First we have to open the file in read mode. Then read the entire kernel of the file using the function read. And the string returned by this read function is stored in the variable content. Now the variable content holds the entire content of the file which is in the form of a string. Then I initialize two variables count1 and count2. Count1 is for counting this and count2 is for counting that. Then using split function split the content of the file which is in the form of a string into list of words. So this variable words is a list which contains all the words in that file. Then a for loop to traverse through the list. Here the loop variable is word. So in first iteration the first element in that list that is the first word is stored in word. Then that word is compared with this. See here I have used the function lower. Lower function will return the lower case equivalent of a string. So this will return the lower case equivalent of the word. Then that word is compared with lower case this. This conversion is for case insensitive comparison. That is even if your file contains upper case this, mixed case this or lower case this, it will count. So if it is this, what you have to do? Increment count 1. Count 1 plus equal to 1. That is count 1 equal to count 1 plus 1. And if otherwise you have to check whether it is that. If it is that, increment count 2. So we are counting this and that separately in two variables count 1 and count 2. Then in next iteration it will take the next word that is the next element in that list compare and increment. That will go on till the end of the list. Then outside the for loop we have print statement to print count 1 and count 2. That is number of this and number of that. See indentation is very very important in python so be careful. Okay, save and execute this program. Number of this 0, number of that 1. India.txt. There is no this here and here we have 1 that. Okay. Next question. Program to copy all the lines which starts with T. From main.txt into another file copy.txt. Here we have two files main.txt and copy.txt. You have to copy something from one file to another. So the first file that is main.txt you have to open in read mode. Then the second file copy.txt you have to open in write mode. Okay. Then what you have to copy? The lines which starts with T. So here I have used the function read lines. The function read lines will read all the lines in a text file and return in the form of a list. So the variable lines contains all the lines in the file main.txt. Then traverse through the list for line in lines. This will select a line from a list of lines. Then this line is a string. 
So check whether the first character in that string is T or not. That is line of 0 equal to T. String index starts from 0. So check whether line of 0 equal to T or not. If it is T, then write that line into the second file which is referred by the file handy FW. FW points to copy.txt. So read from main.txt using the file handy FR. FR.readlines. Then write into copy.txt which is opened in write mode using the file handy FW. FW.writeline. At last close the files. Before executing the program, let me show the content of the file main.txt. Text file main. There are two lines which starts with T. Okay. Execute the program. Program executed successfully. Then we have to check whether our file is created or not. See here the text file copy.txt is created. What is inside copy? The earth, this word. Lines which starts with T. So from the first file that is from main.txt, the words which starts with T is copied to second file copy.txt. Okay. So we have completed the programs from text files. In next video, we will see the programs from binary files and also CSV files. Thank you.